Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're joined once again by the Union's General Secretary, Matt Rack. Matt, a surprising general election result uh, recently. I mean, what's your take on it? Well, I think it's uh, an absolutely appalling outcome for, for firefighters and for working people generally. Uh, the, uh, we've already been through the worst five years in history of cuts to our service. A tax on pay, a tax on pensions and now we face a, f a prospect of another five years of the same. And the early announcements from the, the new government are that they intend to continue with austerity, which means cuts to public services, cuts to central funding, and that means for us in the fire service, more job losses, more stations under threat, uh, a, a continuing squeeze on uh, pay and a tax on conditions of service. So it's absolutely uh, appalling. Alongside that, they're lining up other attacks on us, such as the attacks on trade union rights, uh, the ability of, of firefighters and other workers to take uh, industrial action to defend themselves, attacking unions financially, uh, and a whole raft of, of issue, a whole raft of measures which are going to weaken, attempt to weaken our position to to campaign to defend ourselves as workers and as firefighters and defending the fire service. And of course, as well as a new government, we've also got a new fire minister, Mark Francois. Now I know you're going to be meeting them soon. What's the main points you're going to be getting across to? Them? Well, we wrote to them uh, early on uh, after the election, uh, and as soon as he was appointed minister, to seek a meeting. You know, we've met, we meet all ministers, uh, whatever we think of the outcome of the election, he's there, he's the DCLG fire minister, we've got to try and have a dialogue with him. Uh, he has now written back, we're, we're setting that meeting up, that meeting will be in place soon. I think we need to set out a, a whole number of issues. There is, firstly, the, the pensions issue. Uh, he may think that's resolved. As far as we're concerned, it's not resolved. We need to ask him some questions about the assurances that were given in Parliament uh, under the last government uh, and where they fit in terms of firefighters being guaranteed a pension if fitness declines that the members will be aware of. I think we then need to set out our concerns about the other issues. What is going to happen to the fire service over the next five years if this scale of cuts continues? Will we be able to deliver a fire service? Will we be able to uh, deal with those major incidents that come along every so often, the, the major floods, the threat of terrorism, all those issues which a government should be concerned about, we need to be uh, challenging. We want to make the case for prof proper professional standards in the fire service so that firefighters can do their job safely, effectively uh, and efficiently. And uh, I think that means, uh, needs some input from central government. It means, it means uh, them to stop those cuts and need some investment. You, the fire service is a fantastic service, it could deliver uh, more things actually uh, if there's a proper dialogue. We're, having, we're attempting to have that dialogue with our employers currently but I think it needs a role of central government as well. Well Matt you mentioned the pensions campaign and many critics across the fire service, chief fire officers and others are saying that the union needs to realise that the pensions campaign is over. What would be your answer to them? Well, I think it's only over when our members decide it's over. You know, that's that's the point. We discussed this at conference, and it, that's, there's no getting away from it. We're in a difficult position on pensions. I think everyone, uh, after the general election, has taken a step back to think, what does this mean? We'll find out uh, partly from our meeting with the, the minister. But one thing uh, we need to be clear about is we're not going to give up campaigning for decent pensions for firefighters in whatever way that takes. And I'll give you one example. We've... Uh, under the last government, we uh, launched a campaign about improved commutation uh, for people in the old uh, 1992 pension scheme. Uh, we were told by the then government that we had no chance of winning it uh, and we might as well give up. Uh, we pursu pursued that, we followed it up and we've won that case and our members have won, uh, retired members have won a, a large amount of money. It's going to cost the government millions and millions of pounds is going to be to the benefit of some retired firefighters at tens of thousands of pounds and that's because we don't give up we carry on uh, and i think my message to the government is we're not going away and we may campaign in different ways but we're going to carry on campaigning and we're going to keep all options and that's my message to members and i think uh, to the new government as well some very clear messages from the Union's General Secretary there. Please keep up to date on all the Union's work. You can follow us on our website, which is www.fbu.org.uk, or why not follow us at Twitter, which is at FBU National. But till next time, once again, thanks very much, Matt. Thanks.